<laughs> and now it's time for American Folklore Theater. Hello, welcome to American Folklore Theater. I'm Fess Weiss. Tonight you're going to hear the story of a long forgotten American hero, Honey Dipper Dan. <laughs> a long time ago when our land was young, living was hard. Man had to draw his drinking water out of a well, hunt his dinner in the heart of the forest. When it came time to relieve himself, he had to do it in an outhouse. <laughs> Trouble is, them outhouses would get full up, and somebody had to empty them out. Well, that somebody was Honey Dipper Dan. <laughs> Honey Dipper Dan was 20 feet tall, and when it came to honey dipping, he was better than them all. A giant of a man, strong and fit, and he wasn't afeard of handling Honey Dipper Dan. Well, his honey dipping ladle was the Liberty Bell, and a redwood clothespin kept out the smell. His hat was a mountain where billy goats played, and his big giant boots had to be specially made. Now other honey dippers will they'd wear gloves, but not for old Dan, this is something he loved. He'd whistle as he worked, a credit to his species, ridden this country a big mounds of. Honey dipper Dan. Honey dipper Dan. Folks knew he was coming, you didn't have to tell him, the ground would shake, and besides, you could smell him. You'd find him an outhouse, and armed with that scoop, he'd pull off the roof and start spooning out. Honey dipper Dan. His life was a dream, and no one could spoil it till some city slicker went and thought up the toilet. With a flush, it was over. Dan's heart broken, too. What was a honey dipping giant to do? He laid down his ladle and just disappeared. But old legend has it, I know this sounds weird, but late, late at night, put your ear to the can. And if you hear a whistle, it's probably... Honey Dipper Dan. <laughs> Honey Dipper Dan. Dan. Join us next week when we sing you the story of another great American folk hero, Mississippi Maxine Pad, and how she <laughs> plugged up a dam and saved a village. In the meantime, I'm Fess Weiss. Good America to you. <laughs>